Dollar Boost update. It's been a while since I've uh, posted anything to YouTube, and I apologize about that. I've just been slammed with getting this business going and getting these Dollar Boosts all situated, figured out, and all the prototype pieces done. Um, this is just a handful of the stuff I've got made right now. Um, I've got more shields made than boost controllers, but I have more than what you see here. But anyway, um, I have been working, and the first couple controllers should be leaving uh, this next week. And I'm going to slowly start working through my wait list. Um, if you're interested in one of these units, and I'm, if you've seen the other videos that I've posted and Matt Happel's posted on his Sloppy Mechanics YouTube channel, um, you can get on the wait list for one of these units. He had the prototype version of one of these units in his Colorado, um, and he was actually the one that gave me the idea to do this stuff, and there's been such a draw for um, these units that I finally decided I was going to make a business and start building and selling them, um, as I've posted about before. So, um, wait list is getting pretty deep right now, but I'm finally to the point where everything is situated, and um, they use... The first couple units are ready for shipment. They should be going out this next week, I believe. And then um, we'll just be going through there. The wait list right now, I, as you would probably expect, I'm going from the people who reserved them first to the people who reserved them last. So if you just put in your, uh, you know, your you that you want one, um, you can. Well, if you haven't, email me uh, Dale at twistedbuilds.com, and I will throw you on the waiting list. Um, but I'm going through the wait list, like the people who reserved theirs first get theirs first and, you know, going towards the end of the list like normal. Um, just to show you the new units, I'm going to try to do this. I mean, I'm not the greatest at making videos, but we'll try to get this done. Um, the first stuff I had to figure out originally was these dollar boost shields. And let me see if I can put this guy, there we go. So, these dollar boost shields. Focus. There you go. Alright, so these boards, um, I, I prototyped, designed, and then had made up for inside these units. They're literally Arduino shields, and then they go right onto an Arduino. So, Arduino Uno, which is what's inside these units controlling them. Um, it's just pretty much everything for, I mean, regulates the 12 volt input, regulates for the, um, the voltage for the potentiometer runs the solenoid and um, controls the screen. So nothing super special about that. Um, had to figure those out. That took a little bit to get those figured out and done. After that, it was the um, get, figuring out the case designs um, and mainly these bezels. That that's what took the longest. Um, this is a 3D printed bezel that I'm having a guy out of, uh, I think his, he's in Cannon, Kentucky, is making them for me. Um, they hold the OLED display and it's a nice, if you can see with the lighting here, it's a nice clean, I mean, it makes it a nice clean finish on it. That way you can't see the hole I had to cut out for the, the screens. Um, gives it a nice clean look for people who want a nice clean product in their vehicles. I mean, we all want to be proud of what we put in our cars, so I try to make this as clean as possible. Um, and these dollar boosts, as you've seen uh, Matt run and me post about in our videos, um, pretty much you turn, I'm going to show you on one I have wired up ready to rock. Um, you pretty much, uh, it'll have a boot screen that's that you can custom order. There's two free options. The first option is the standard option which just says um, simple dollar boost uh, with a little turbo display. Um, the next one is also, and you'll see that because that's on my prototype, that my pretty much my display model which is right there. Um, that one has the raccoon boot screen. Um, if you want something custom made, uh, I do that as long as it's feasible for a five dollar uh, fee um, for the boot screen. Um, if it's not feasible, I don't charge for the fee. I, I will try to make it work. I've already done a couple. Um, I also have where, um, for an extra $5 fee, except for two right now. Um, anyway, if you turn the unit up to 100%, so you turn it all the way up, instead of the readout just reading 100%, it could read, uh, right now the free options are kill, 
for the people who want, people who want to say that their boost controller set to kill. <laughs> and um, it could also read out Ricky Bobby. Those are the two free units or free um, options for the 100% screens. I've also had a couple uh, requests for the 100% screens that I've been, I've been able to do. Um, again, the special stuff, um, it's a $5 charge. And it takes me a little while to code the stuff and get everything to work. So I figured that is an honest charge for the extra work I have to put into the coding and designing the units code to make it work correctly. Um, but that is pretty much the unit itself. Uh, five inch, two, and I don't want to say it's like three eighths, and about three and two, or it's like two and seven eighths, maybe three inch wide. So it's a fairly compact unit. You can see it fits pretty much in my hand. Um, hookup, wire and hookup. Stupid simple, four wire. This one's, I mean, this one's actually a customer unit that's headed out this week. But this one is a power wire, which goes onto terminal block number one. These are, I don't know if I can get this to focus. There you go. One, two, three, and four. So this one's on terminal block one, which is power. Terminal block number two is ground. Three and four go to your boost control solenoid. They're not, three and four aren't polarity, um, polarity sensitive. You can wire it up either way. And I'll show you on my, uh, my personal display model how that's set up um, and these will come with instructions on how to wire them in I'm also recommending everyone to either get self adhesive tape or velcro or something to put on the bottom of these units to put it onto their dash do not drill into these units the microcontroller is literally right underneath this right here so don't drill into them but that is the unit so far in its entirety I'm going to Move the um, move this stuff real quick. Actually, I'll just show you why I do this. I'll bring out my display model. So my display. Get these wires a little longer. My display model right now is also hooked up to three port Mac valve. So that way I can show you on the screen or on the on the video. You can hear it working. Um, I I even talk about price point. So price point. Just this unit with the basic features or the free options, which would be like the, the two free options for the boot screen or the two um, free options for the 100% screen, which you'll see on, what I'm talking about, um, is $80 just for the unit plus shipping and tax if you're in PA. Um, if you want a three port Mac valve for them, it bumps it up to 110. Comes with the controller and the three port Mac valve, and I'll talk about the other little things you'll need to get in order to install it in your vehicle, um, plus shipping. So let me turn this one on and let's see if I can get this to turn on while we are looking at the screen here. So hopefully you can see this when it boots up. This one's going to have the Coon boot screen on it. There you go. It looks a little funny on camera because of the refresh rate. So, pull this over here. So I've also got in my hand the three port Mac valve. So what we're gonna do is it's at zero percent. Listen to this. Hear it pulsing? That's at like 28 percent. Then you just keep going up. And 100% just turns the valve completely on. And you can see that's a free option right now is Ricky Bobby. Then it goes down to zero. So if you can hear it. it. I can feel it start pulsing around 7%. I think, yep, right there, like 7-8%. It'll start pulsing. You might be able to hear it. And then you just turn it up. And it keeps pulsing. I think it's like, yeah, I feel, I don't know if you can hear it. It's still pulsing, and like 90%, it kind of stops. Which, if on the oscilloscope, it still works just fine to 100. Like it will pulse the entire way to 100%. But the, because the mechanical part of this valve, the valve itself is almost hanging wide open at that point. But as you've seen from uh, Matt Happel's videos, it has a very good linear function to it. So, as I said, it comes with a three-port Mac valve. I will have instructions on how to wire this up. Um, the only issue with running one of these is most people are going to want to wire this to the top of their gate, and there's many different ways you can wire this, or plumb this, I should say, into their vehicle. 
I highly recommend most units get plumbed into the top of the gate and I will have instructions that come with the unit paper instructions on how I would recommend on doing it you could also Google or YouTube and see how other people are also plumbing these three-part Mac valves up but as I said the unit itself with the free options which right now you know it says Ricky Bobby on it it could also re-kill um, or just a hundred percent those three free options um, with the two free boot screen options which is simple dollar boost with a little turbo display or the coom boot screen which you saw on this one um, with those it's eighty dollars if you want a custom boot screen um, it'll bump it up to eighty five if you want a custom boot screen and a custom one hundred percent screen like this it's gonna bump it up to ninety um, that's just for the control unit plus shipping if you want one with a three port Mac valve which is what you'll need to plumb it in and make the system work um, it will bump the unit up to $110 plus shipping and then any extra fees for like again the boot screen or whatnot's another $5 fee and the 100% screen if it's something custom it's another $500 fee so you could bump it up to $120 if you get custom for both and it's got to be something I'm going to be able to do if I like if I try and I can't I won't charge you the fee but um, if it's possible I can do it it'll be a $5 fee so let me unplug the power from this so I'm actually going to hook up one of these customer's units, probably this guy, because I think he wanted the simple dollar boost boot screen. I won't have the Mac valve hooked up to it, obviously, because it's hooked up to my display. But so we'll set this guy over here, and I'm going to just hook this up myself to see which one this is, because I kind of want to show you what's available. Dun 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 dun. Sorry, pulling in the void. Okay, that's the custom one. We're gonna wait that for that for last. We'll do this other one. This one should be a relatively normal one, I do believe. Let me see here. So here's the other ones with the free options. So let me get this to get zoomed in here and I will, let's see, I'm going to restart it. So this is the normal, it's a simple dial boost with a little turbo. All right. And then same deal, knob turns it up and this one's set to kill. So it reads out kill whenever you have it set up to 100%. And just back down to zero. So, nothing special. Um, that is the other free options you can get along with, as I said, that screen could read just 100% instead of a, a, like an actual you know, text saying. And the custom unit, which this one was a custom order with the extra options. I'm going to show you what those are. He said it was okay for me to share this, so figured I would. So let me see if I can get this close enough to you guys can see it when it boots. It says Putain Dollar Boost. Okay. Then it goes into its you know normal operating sequence. You turn it up to 100, and he wanted full retard on 100%. So. And this was a custom built or custom coded unit, so he got both extra fees. So he's he's paying ninety dollars for the unit. But those are the options you can get with this doll. That will do setup. Um. Now things you will need to install it in your car. Um, wires, obviously, the wire from the like power and ground to the unit, and then wire. T um, from the solenoid outputs to the boost control solenoid. Then you're also going to need an inline fuse relay or some kind of fuse protection on this. This should get ignition voltage. So whenever like you turn the key on to run your car, this should be getting 12 volts from that wire. So that way whenever you shut the key off or shut the ignition off, this should shut off. 
Um, ground is important on these. Highly recommend if you do a body ground, make sure you have a voltmeter and make sure it is a very good ground. Highly even recommend doing a um, a loaded test on the ground, like say with like a, a peanut bulb, like a you know 194 bulb in a socket or something, to make sure you've got a good ground. Because that a low voltage ground to this is going to screw with that solenoid. So highly recommend making sure you have a good ground on this. Um, Three and four, as I said, are for the solenoid. They just need two wires. You can use speaker wire, even stuff and special, um, to run out to your um, solenoid. Um, that stuff you'll need. You'll also need, as I said, a way of mounting it to your dash. That I will have uh, instructions on how to install this in your car, wire it, um, usage, um, how to plumb the three-port Mac valve. Um, post it on my website. Um, at twistedbuilds.com, it will be underneath the dollar boost tab, which you should be able to also find a link to on the home page. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, or want to get put on the wait list for these dollar boost units, um, just please email me, uh, dale at twistedbuilds.com, and I will throw you on the wait list. And thank you for watching.